huge challenge and it's not even nine o'clock in the morning. Yes, lads. Part two of breakfast is first time having Nutella in, I wanna say, probably about five years, would you say? Yeah. Half is Flora and half is Nutella. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Mum. What did you get for Mother's Day? Oh, don't, I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> 50 things about my mother. I was reading on one number 37. I had a wonderful card with some wonderful writing. And I had a wonderful custom made. So that's my name. And that's Lozzy. What have we got in our hands? Chicken necks, Starbucks in Lauren's hand, and a gin in my hand. You've got to be gentle too, yes. yes. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you, Lauren. It means such a lot. So, yeah, um, first challenge that I did today was I had Nutella on a crumpet, which was crazy. It's the first time I've had it in so long, as I said. Lauren! Stop yawning! Stop. Cool, we're back. Um, and I also, this last thing, the second thing that I've managed to do is um, I have been in the car to town. I was out for like over an hour, uh, completely out of my comfort zone, but tackling that anxiety. <laughs> um, the clocks went back an hour as well, so yay for having lighter nights, but we do lose an hour. <laughs> but yeah, I've been in the car, so tackled that anxiety. I didn't have a panic attack. Great. So today's gonna be a good day. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all, all of you guys and your mothers. And if you haven't got a mum, then I love you anyway. Um, that got deep. That got really deep. Um, and yeah, so I haven't really got much of a plan for today. We're gonna have um a cooked dinner. A roast. I can't believe I'm yawning again. <laughs> I've had a shower and everything today. What a screw off. Um, I've had my breakfast and my porridge and my crumpet. I've had my Nature Valley bar. Um, I'm gonna have a, a cooked dinner. I'm gonna have a roast because I haven't I haven't had one in years like a, a cooked dinner. But I'm gonna have every thought the trimmings as well. I'm gonna have you know, gravy and things that anorexia doesn't like. That's what makes a cooked dinner a cooked dinner. Am I right? Da, 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 da. Lunch is fresh strawberries with a ham croissant, which I made myself. Oh, so I'm gonna have this with my mum whilst we watch American Horror Story. Mum has been to the shop and this is my challenge for today for part two of lunch and I've never had one of these before. What's it called? A cinnamon swirl. A cinnamon swirl. Cinnamon Danish. My mind's kind of freaking out because I've just had pastry but mum's reassured me it's fine and she's going to have some. Yeah, yeah. mum's going to have, have some with me so go for it. So I'm going to have this much. I'm gonna have this one. I'm off. No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't kissed you yet for my stuff. <laughs> we are about to try for the first, well, my um, first time. Um, cinnamon swirl? Cinnamon Danish, yeah. Cinnamon Danish. Mum seems to have cut off the very smallest bit for herself. That. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Clink. Mm. It's more cinnamony. Mm. Nice? Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, the only thing is, it flakes everywhere. Keep looking it up. Mm. Mm. Happy Mother's Day to me. Happy Mother's Day to you. We have kite up every day now, don't we? I don't know. I don't know about me putting on white, but. I'm going to be like this. <laughs> 
We're not welcome back to our channel. What you do for your kids. <laughs> Excuse to get new clothes. Yeah, I don't mind though. As long as you're enjoying yourself. Mm. And you're happy. And you're healthy. It doesn't matter what size you are, my darling. No. Okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thanks for this. It's okay. You're a star. Thank you for all my Mother's Day prizzies. Lauren, out. Pooch. <laughs> Hi guys, I am back and I am going to finish the video. Oh, I'm going to finish the video up. Um, I've got a few Q and A question and answers that I got asked over Instagram, so I thought I would just quickly answer them before I end the vlog. So I was there, you, as you saw earlier. I had a challenge. I had um, a cinnamon swirl, my first ever one with my mum. Um, it's Mother's Day today, so it was a really nice way to celebrate that. Um, it is now half past three. don't know if you can see that. It's half past three, and I have my afternoon snack, so I've got a 40 sip, I've got a vanilla 40 sip. I can only manage the vanilla ones. <laughs> I have to have two a day, but it's medicine. It's medicine, it's medicine, it's medicine. <laughs> um, anyway, so... I've just got a few Q and A's. I've only got very few because I put it up not so long ago. Um, but I will answer the ones that I've been given. So okay, I'll answer three. I'll answer three. So the first one is, what is your current height and weight? And my weight is not going to be revealed because that's irrelevant, and I can't see how that's beneficial to anyone. But my height is four foot eleven. I'm very short, very short. <laughs> but I've learnt to live with it, to deal with it. It's me. My family is short. It's in my jeans. I can't exactly stretch myself out, can I? So <laughs> just get on with it. But uh, second question is, what are your motivations to recover? My motivations to recover is definitely thinking more towards the future. So family, friends, travel, my puppy, um, meet, meeting someone one day, getting married, having children. I'd love to have children. I haven't had a period in like seven years. So that's important to get back, I know. Um, so yeah, my main motivations would just be the future. Wanting to travel, mainly. Travel's my biggest passion, so definitely up there. And the last one I'm going to do is, how did you stop counting calories? This is something I'm struggling with a lot. So I definitely have to say that I stopped counting calories now about a month ago when I started my recovery. It's the hardest thing I've done. I can't remember not counting calories. It's sad to say, but I do. That's how it's always been. Um, you know, I've got my fitness pal. I've got this, the longest streak. It's, it's awful. But I don't anymore. I think the only thing I can say about calories, when you decide to let go of thinking about calories so much, when you decide to step back and not look at the nutrition and things and have unknown calorie foods, I think having unknown calorie foods has helped me a lot. So, like things from the bakery, or if my mum's cooked something, or not seeing any calories helped me a lot because if they're not there you can't stress about them um but i think you just i know it's really easy to say and i'm still struggling with it of course but it gets easier the more you do it the easier it gets you just got to keep fighting keep pushing and just keep blocking her out keep blocking the eating disorder out because she wants nothing for you but death. Mm, it's horrible to say, but it's true. So yeah, I feel really liberated, not counting calories. It's such a lovely feeling. I can go into, well, I can buy things and get mum to get things from the shop and eventually I'll be able to go back into the shop when my anxiety, I've got to work on that. I'm going to be starting CBT soon, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, so I can get things from the shop. I can get people to pick me up things. It's my mum's birthday next week. We're going to get her a birthday cake. I'm going to have slice for the first time. 
since I was probably like nine years old <laughs> and I'm 20 now so yeah it's it the only thing I can say is you've just got to try and let go it's not going to be easy it's definitely not going to be easy it's not going to be straightforward but the more you do it the easier it will get so you got this girl <laughs> um so yeah that's all for today um I know it's only a short one today but just let me know if you've got any other ideas I've really enjoyed doing this and yeah it's great so we're gonna have we're having a roast dinner tonight for the first time so I am super nervous but I'm excited as well because I used to love them and yeah so you got this just keep swimming and you're amazing keep fine and I'll see you very soon see you later